Well, we uh, as a bank operate out of India primarily and uh, in India of late we have been witnessing a significant paradigm shift in terms of uh, banking. Uh, technology has acted as a big uh, destroyer in terms of the traditional banking models and today we are seeing uh, the basic channels of banking getting evolved. We are uh, maybe from the cards to net banking to mobile and today we are talking about wallet. So there is a huge amount of transformation that is happening in terms of banking in India and we see a lot of opportunity in that market. We have actually rode the wave of uh, channel banking for the last few years and today everybody is uh, focused on mobile and uh, as a bank we have mobile first as one of the key strategies uh, but then as we are speaking about mobile first as an option we also understand that there are a lot of other electronic options that are coming out in the market wallets being a prominent one uh, the the line that divides a bank uh, from maybe a another financial institution or maybe a another intermediary is thinned and today it's very difficult to kind of focus only on banking products. So as a bank, in addition to being there first in mobile, we are also looking at strategic tie-ups with uh, other players out there who can then allow us to expand into markets hitherto unknown to us. And therefore, it will be a mix of technology and a different business model uh, by adding more and more of non-banking products to our suite of products. So Finical traditionally has been our platform, the core banking platform with which we have uh, started operations. Of late, um, uh, we have seen very positive developments coming in from Infosys on the channel banking side. Our relationship with Infosys is both on the core banking and for the internet banking. And in both these segments, we have uh, reaped quite a few benefits from the support and the products that Infosys has provided. And it's quite gladdening to note that uh, you know, there are more and more products on the offing in terms of uh, channel banking, especially on the mobile space. Well, our relationship dates back almost two decades. Uh, we were the, one of the first banks in the country to opt for Finical. And at that point of time, we felt that A, it was uh, built on a very strong platform. Uh, the, the core of the product was very robust. Uh, and the most interesting aspect that, uh, that made us choose Finical was the layer of customization that was possible uh, completely in-house without any third-party help, which no other product at that point of time offered. And that, till date, has been one of the biggest success stories. And we are very glad to know that now um, Finical has a newer version that is coming in, which actually, in addition to the customization possibilities, also offers capabilities of directly interacting and integrating with multiple applications using the Finical integrator. And we as a bank are in the process of migrating uh, from Finical 7 to Finical 10, which we hope to complete in the next few months. Business front, I think uh, the first thing is to have uh, a very solid system. Uh, there has been many banks in the country where uh, the implementation process has been quite disruptive. The support that uh, the vendor has given those respective companies has not been great, which has resulted in a lot of bad press. As far as our core banking implementation was concerned, even today we still believe that it's one of the best in the country. We have had hardly any customer complaints. We have had hardly any hits on the business, especially during the implementation phase. And that, I believe, comes in from the vast amount of experience that Finical has built over a period of time and Infosys uh, has in the form of manpower. Uh, having said that, the second uh, wave was to leverage on the core banking platform. And that, as I was telling you earlier, happened primarily from the channel banking front, where today uh, there is a significant amount of transactions that our customers are doing through the channels rather than coming back to the traditional route, which I believe has been made possible because of the products that uh, Infosys has given us as a part of the Finical suite. Primarily, I think uh, um, the, the most important thing that any bank in the country would be keen to is to offer 100% uptime. And I believe this is one big area where Finical support has given us uh, no cause of worry. Uh, 
any, uh, in, on any given day, I mean, it's quite possible that uh, a, an organization which has multiple systems interacting with each other could come down. Uh, we have had cases where even very remote instances of a PC having a problem has actually caused serious amount of issues. And in moments such as these, I mean, we have received great amount of support coming in from Infosys. We have had people coming on site. Uh, and this has been one of the major differentiators when we compare Infosys with some of the other vendors who typically take the route of going behind technical jargons and, the, and pointing fingers, which we have not noticed in Infosys. They have been a great partner for the last two to 20 years on. Well, uptime uh, typically translates into a financial parameter whenever uh, we do our reviews. Uh, we have uh, internal SLAs of uptimes with our business and uh, any, any uh, uh, sort of shortfall or any problem that we encounter on that front is going to result in a, uh, in a negative financial impact. Uh, the, there, are, there have been cases where uh, due to disruption of service we have had, uh, you know, uh, we could have had a lot of business moving out but then uh, uh, that has not happened primarily because our uptimes have been pretty good and we've also been able to um, kind of uh, get our customers to use the products in a very good manner. So I think the tangible benefit as far as support is concerned is in terms of uptime primarily and uh, the second thing is in terms of offering and uh, new products, the enhancements that are coming in from the newer versions and the, and the quick turnaround time with which we are able to roll out uh, new products and services. Those incidents was uh, the classic case that I was explaining to you a little while back, where we had a specific case where uh, there was a, uh, there was a problem with a, uh, a particular uh, PC from which uh, we used to do the batch operations, and uh, for whatever reason, uh, uh, this had gone through some upgrades, and on a particular day, this resulted in uh, with the batch jobs, the daily batch jobs, getting disrupted. But then, when we did an RCA, it was quite uh, you know, not possible to pinpoint as to what the problem was because the applications were getting affected and the core banking was one of them. And the best part is that um, while we could have probably put the blame on a hardware vendor or on the database vendor, uh, since Infosys has been our strongest partner, we have had, we had asked our uh, colleagues in Infosys to give us support and uh, within a matter of a few hours, there were people who flew down and um, to our data center and there were series, amount, uh, series of discussions that were held with multiple vendors um, and, and at, at the end of the day we found that it was not an application issue, not a database issue, not a network issue but it was only a simple PC related issue uh, and I think it wouldn't have happened had it not been for the kind of open support and uh, you know, um, en encouragement and coordination provided by Infosys all along. Uh, see, one of the things that uh, we keep interacting with Infosys is uh, to move away from the traditional uh, software support model, be it on the development side or on the support side. And I'm glad to see that there are a lot of agile technologies and uh, agile methodologies that are now being deployed. I believe that's the way to go forward because we are competing not with banks anymore, we are competing with startups and therefore we need to roll out products and services very quickly and we would expect that uh, the Infosys team uh, who develops products, who gives us support would also uh, be, adopt some of these uh, you know, um, very quick rollout uh, methodologies which will then help us to uh, serve our customers in a better fashion. The second aspect that I would like Infosys to focus on is on the mobile side of things because I believe uh, even the support, I believe there are, there are areas that need improvement. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to hear that some of those are being plugged in in some of the latest versions that are coming out. Uh, so that's the way to go forward, yeah.